All right, uh, let's look at the homework seven, problem number seven. All right, so we want to find, uh, for part A, uh, we want to find the partial fractions of uh, this um, uh, rational function there. All right, so let's do that. So open up maxima. All right, then go to calculus. And then we want to find the partial, let's see, where's the partial fractions right there. All right, so expression is um, uh, s squared, um, s squared, and plus 3, all right, divided by, and uh, oh, uh, let's see, uh, s squared uh, plus 2 times s, and plus 2 uh, squared. And the variable in this case is s. All right, so let's uh, hit and OK. Then uh, let's see, oh, let's see, partial fractions. Um, it's, oh, let's see, it's not doing it. Uh, let's see, what's, uh, so did I put this correctly? Oh, here, because I didn't put that square there. So let's say, right. So this is the uh, partial fractions, All right? So that's part A. And part B is finding the Laplace transform of t times sine of kt. All right, so uh, let's do that. Saying go up and uh, calculus. And then we Laplace transform. All right, expression is uh, t times, let's see, oops, sorry. Expression is uh, t times, all right, sine of uh, k times t. So in this case, this old variable is t, and the new variable is s. So if you click on that, right, so it gives us the uh, Laplace transform. So if you've taken uh, uh, differential uh, equations, uh, this is the um, Laplace transform of t times sine of kt. All right, so that's part b. And uh, part c is inverse Laplace transform of uh, this guy. So uh, let's find that. Um, open up here, uh, maxima, All right, go to calculus, and the uh, inverse Laplace transform, All right, then expression is, uh, actually expression is the uh, same as this one, so I'm going to just, uh, let's see, I can't copy that, so I'm going to have to type it in, so we have s squared plus 3 divided by, um, not squared, uh, s squared uh, plus 2 times s plus 2, right? And old variable is s, and the new variable is t, so hopefully they give us that, right? So this is the um, uh, Laplace transform, right? Uh, sorry, inverse Laplace transform, so we'll get you that there. All right, so that's c, and uh, I guess that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.